Hello everybody, RTR here, and we're on uh, OG again for that second Let's Play in the series. And um, we're in the base right now, we're basically done with it. Uh, we got our potion room. Oh, excuse me. Uh, everything else up here. I got my uh, semi-auto brewer, man, I just ate like a huge freaking quesadilla. I'm like dying. Uh, anyway, too much food. Anyway, yeah, we got our auto brewer up here. Well, semi auto brewer. Press a button and it brews like nine inputs. So it's a small chest per uh, brew. And um, yeah, I really like this thing. I built this on last OG map. So it's pretty OP. Uh, I'm going to be doing a Dagoner base tour probably tomorrow. So if you're a fan of the Dagoner series, make sure you head over there after uh, like another 24 hours. It'll probably be up sooner than that. I might even put it up tonight with this video, so if it's up with this one, don't be surprised. But, um, yeah, we're here on OG, and basically all I've been doing today is uh, PvP and working on the Auto Brewer and our Reed Farm, which is uh, now complete. I think I showed it off in the last video, not completely sure. But in the last video, I sh I, I'm pretty sure I showed off the Reed Farm. Uh, anyway, this Reed Farm right here, whoa, okay, there we go. This reed farm right here, we stole from a faction that we raided, and um, since the last episode, we've done a lot of building. I'm gonna put this armor on just because. How many kits available? Ooh, kit daily iron. Screw this iron armor. I'm putting on the D. I'm getting the D, sir. Not a bad way. Anyway, um, yeah, this is the reed farm. It goes right now, uh, basically bedrock. I think this is Y80. So there's like. 10 reed floors and then this one melon floor which we use for uh, the uh, glycerine melon to make our instant health potions. I think right now we're up to about 9 dubs of instant health and 9 dubs of speed. So we've got enough potions to PvP for as long as we want. But I am out of gold. So if, you, if you're on the server and have some gold for sale, I have access to a gold farm that I share with somebody, I can't remember their name, but he's true and he's cool and I almost traded it and then I realized it was his so I stopped. And my dog just came in the dog door so background noise. But, um, yeah, we got the gold farm up, but I need more gold. So if you've got some gold and you're willing to sell it for a decent amount, um, I'll buy. So I don't like to make god apples. I prefer to make instant health because god apples are kind of cheap and easy and makes you look like a noob. And you can get a lot more armor out of using the gold on instant health than you can on a god apple because a god apple lasts for, like, one fight, whereas, like, the gold it would take to make a god apple can make, like, two dubs of instant health, which is enough to, like, I don't know knock out a couple teams but man oh man I've just been getting teamed today and I know that's ironic because some of you on the server have seen me and uh, us going coop running around together but I try not to team people when I can uh, generally they follow me around and team I really don't like to I much prefer a 1v1 so um, yeah so if you ever see me on the server and I'm out PvPing please don't team me because I hate being teamed it's like the most annoying thing ever I'll try to keep my guys out of a out of teaming and uh, I don't know that's the kind of thing that ruins the server so but um, a lot of you guys have been like kinda wondering like or some of you who have been subscribers for long times probably wonder where Coop and Asko are from or like people who ask to get in the team and I tell them I don't recruit uh, probably wonder where Coop and Asko are from but I think I've told this story before in a while back in my MC Elite series uh, Coop and Asko actually raided me on Evercraft in like early alpha after scamming me, and I think the server's about to crash. But uh, I let I I'm gonna continue this. Oh, there we go. Uh, I let them into the faction, and <clears throat> two days later, uh, all our armor went missing, and I kind of just passed it off as, "Hey, somebody broke into the base and stole the armor, whatever. We'll just keep going and keep the chest sealed." And uh, the day later, our base was blown up from the inside, and everything was missing, and. Uh, I asked them what happened and they said, oh, somebody raided us, we left with all the good stuff, but then we got raided again. And then I kind of realized it was them, so I spent like the next week hunting them across the server, and I eventually bought cords from one of my current team members, Darth Slate, who, uh, instead of, he said he was just going to make me walk to the cords, but he got into the base and then TP'd me, and I spawn killed them, and made Coop open the uh, chests, so... That's a kind of fun. That's kind of a funny story. I threatened to either kill him and claim him, or he could keep the base and open the chest for me. And uh, let's just say I, I may or may not have made him shed some tears here and there. But he was like 11, so whatever. Uh, that was a long time ago, early alpha, like three years ago. So he's 15 right now, so he was 
12, I was uh, either like almost about to turn 13 or I was 13, I can't quite remember, but I've been playing this for a long time. Sorry, I'm just kind of working on my reads here, uh, but yeah, I showed you guys the base already, I'll go show you something else. Uh, we've got the reed farm, we've got the gold farm, and I've got a couple of other warps, an explore warp and a raid warp. Um, the raid warp doesn't have anything, it was an empty obby base. Um, here's the gold farm that I share with a couple guys, I'm going to take those because I'm greedy. And it works okay, um, not the best design in my opinion, I could probably build a better one. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing though, so. Let's get back to base here, and I am going to go store these for now and hope one of my greedy faction members doesn't take it. And yeah, so we got the drop chest wall here, everything else. Uh, doing lots on the server so far. It's been going good. We can't really it's hard to find raids right now because the server kind of just reset So oh man I think we're up to seven dubs of diamond swords and like four dubs of each piece of iron and Almost three of each diamond We've been doing lots of PvP though, so the guys are uh, really active in that and I don't know I've been brewing instant health for them to go PvP with Couple of my other team members, Jason Catslayer, doesn't really like this kind of PvP very much, but he's been getting on and playing with the team just because. Uh, he's not very much of a fan of of the uh, the potion PvP. He likes to do soup, as do I. But I also like to swing down to potion PvP every once in a while because it's a different kind, and uh, the raids are a little bit more fun than on Dagoner because. I don't know, I don't have to cannon for an hour, I can actually glitch into bases and it's legal. Because on day going, glitching is against the rules, or at least it was for a bit. I don't know about now, there's a forum post stating like, hey, let's make glitching not bannable anymore, which I disagree with. I really think day goner should keep it. Uh, glitching shouldn't be allowed because on day goner, we spend hours making those walls and stuff so that they're not cannonable. And then people come along and just glitch into it and it kind of, kind of ruins the fun. That's what happened to me with a guy named Father Sheep on there, and uh, he was a, uh, I thought he was cool, he was truce with me. We went on a raid together, which I actually posted, so that one of the uh, Dagoner raids has him in it. And uh, yeah, I got into the base, I helped him raid it, and then uh, like a, two weeks later-ish, he showed up out of nowhere and then was basically just stealing cactus out of our auto cactus farm, which took like eight hours total time to build, and that was with help, so it's huge. Uh, I have like 2.7 mil on Dagoner, so I should quit talking about Dagoner because we're on OG here. Uh, Coop's up in the brewer, and I'm going to go PvP for a bit.